Dear students, greetings of the day. Today, we are going to see the fourth supplementary, the cat and the painkiller. Okay, it is an extract from the Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Okay, the Adventures of Tom Sawyer is an interesting and famous novel written by Mark Twain. Okay, first let us see about the author. Samuel Langholm Clemens was lived from 1835 to 1910. He is better known by his pen name Mark Twain. Okay. He was an American writer, humorist, entrepreneur. Okay. Entrepreneur means a businessman. He is a writer, humorist and also a businessman. Publisher and lecturer. Okay. Twain was raised in Hannibal, Missouri, which later provided the setting for his novels. His famous works are The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Okay. All of you understood about the author. Yes. Now let us move on to the supplementary The Cat and the Painkiller. Now we start with the warm-up. See, there has always been a close bonding between children and animals. Studies have revealed that living with pet animals increases empathy, compassion and self-esteem among children. Okay, yes, all, I think all of you have a pet animal in your home. Yes. Do you have a pet at home? If yes, what animal is it and what is its name? Okay, all of you give a sweet name to your pets. Okay, yes. Did you have any humorous moments with it? If yes, what was it? How do you care for your pets? Okay, how you take care your pets in your home? Okay, yes. Now, we see the note about the novel. Okay, see the adventures of Tom Sawyer is a novel about a young boy, Tom Sawyer, growing up along the Mississippi River at St. Petersburg. Okay, this is an extract from the cat and the painkiller is an extract from the novel, the adventures of Tom Sawyer. Okay, in this novel, there is a young boy named Tom Sawyer. He was growing in the Mississippi River at St. Petersburg. Okay, you all of you understood? Yes. Tom Sawyer live with his, lives with his aunt Polly and his brother Sid. Okay. Tom Sawyer was living with his aunt and his brother. He is up to all sorts of mischief. But very cleverly, he escapes from the punishments that are given to him. Okay. This Tom Sawyer is a very misbehaving boy. Okay. He is a do so many... Uh, misbehaving activities and he escapes from the punishment okay he finds school life miserable but after Becky Dodger's arrival in town he is a bit happy to go to school okay he hate his school life but when Be Becky Dodger arrival in town he is a bit happy to go to school even that happiness does not last long as Becky falls ill and does not come to school for a very long time. Okay. This Becky Thatcher, his friend, was become very ill and he did not come to school. So, this Tom Sire was so much affected because his friend didn't come to school. So, he was bored to go to school. Okay. Bored of school, Tom with his best friends Joe Harper and Huck runs away to an island in the Mississippi called Jackson's Island to become a pirate. Okay. Yes, after his friend didn't come to school, this boy Tom Sawyer went with his friends to a place called Jackson Island to become a Pirate. Okay. Pirate means a person who attacks and robs ships at sea. Okay. Pirate means a person who attacks and robs ships at sea. Okay. 
people in their hometown think that they are dead but to the pleasant shock of everyone they arrive at their own funeral okay as all the people in the mississippi they thought that the boys three of them were dead and they and their funeral time this boys returned to their home okay the cat and the painkiller is one of the episodes of tom sawyer where we find him playing pranks on his aunt polly who loves him very much but does not show her love outwardly in order to make tom a good boy okay this cat and the painkiller is a is one of the episode of the adventures of tom sawyer okay where we found in this story they the here the the now hero tom sawyer play a fun game with his aunt polly and a cat named peter okay yes who loves him very much but does not show her love outwardly in order to make tom a good boy okay yes all of you understood about the note of the novel yes the characters in this story are tom sawyer his aunt polly becky toncher his friend and the cat named peter okay yes now let us move on to the story now read the extract the cat and the painkiller to enjoy the pranks played by tom sawyer on peter the cat okay in this story let us enjoy the pranks means a fun played by tom sawyer on peter the cat okay yes yes let us move on to the story see Peggy Thatcher his friend had stopped coming to school this disturbed tom he became unhappy the charm of life was gone there was nothing but boredom left he put his hoop away and his bag there was no joy in them any more and so his aunt polly was concerned she was infatuated with bad and medicines and all new methods of producing health or maintaining it she was an incurable experimenter in this things okay see the meaning tom sawyer had a school friend becky thatcher okay i already told you in the note of the novel becky thatcher was this close friend after her arrival tom enjoyed his school life but it is not so long becky thatcher had stopped coming to school okay because of severe illness this disturbed tom he became unhappy he always in sad mood he did not pay play anything there was no joy in his life okay his aunt polly tried to make him brisk and to be joyful she is fond of preparing medicines of her own and she gave it to tom to cure his sadness she was an incurable experimenter in these things okay all of you understood the first para yes now let us move to the second para she began to try all manners of remedies on tom the water treatment was new now when tom's low condition was a windfall to her she had him out at daylight every morning stood by him up in the wood shed and drowned him in cold water then she rubbed him hard down with a towel like a file then she rolled him up in a wet sheet and put him away under blankets okay let's see the meaning his aunt polly began to try all manners of remedies on tom okay she do him water treatment she asked to stand him up in the daylight every morning and drowned him in a cold water okay she rubbed him hard with a towel then she rolled him up in a wet sheet and put him away under blankets okay this type of treatments are done by his aunt polly okay yes now let us move to the next para yet with yet not with with standing all this the boy grew more and more sad and pale and dejected she added hard baths six baths shower baths and blanches the boy remained bored she began to assess the water with a slim oatmeal diet and blister blasters she calculated his capacity and filled him up every day with quack cure alls he became fed up and so he thought over various plans of relief and finally hit upon that of professing to be 
fond of painkiller he asked for it so often that he became a nuisance and his aunt entered by telling him to help himself and quit bothering her okay and see the meaning after all this treatment the boy grew more and more sad and pale and depressed okay she added hot baths and sits baths sits baths means warm water bath okay shower bath you know yes shower bath the boy remained bored she gave him diet food and blister blasters she calculated his capacity and filled him up every day with different medicines okay tom became fed up and so he planned to act to be fond of painkiller okay he tortured his aunt to give him painkiller often and his aunt be very tired and asked him to take it himself and don't disturb her okay yes now let us move to the next para she found that the medicines did really diminish but it did not occur to her that the boy was maintaining the health of a crack in the sitting room floor with it one day tom was in the act of dosing the crack when his aunt can's cat peter came along purring eyeing the teaspoon greedily and became begging for a and begging for a taste tom said don't ask for it unless you want it peter but peter signified that he did not want it you better make sure peter was sure now you have asked for it and i will give it to you because there ain't anything mean about me but if you find you don't like it you must not blame anybody but your own self okay i see the meaning she found that the medicine was less and she did not know that tom was putting the medicine in the crack in the sitting room floor with it okay there is a crack you know that crack in the floor okay he putting the pain killer in the crack of the room floor okay one day tom was putting the medicines in the crack in the sitting room his aunt's cat peter came there and begging to give the pain killer medicine to him okay but peter first refused to give the pain killer to the cat okay all of you understood yes now see the next para peter was agreeable so tom opened his mouth and poured down the pain killer peter sprang a couple of yards in the air and then delivered a war whoop and set off round and round the room banging against furniture upsetting floor parts and making general confusion next he rose on his hind feet and danced around in a frenzy of enjoyment with his head over his shoulder and his voice proclaiming his happiness then he went tearing around the house again spreading chaos and dis- destruction in his path and polly entered in time to see him through a few double somersaults dev- deliver a final might harag and sail through the open window carrying the rest of the flower pots with him the old lady stood petrified with astonishment peering over her glasses tom lay on the floor expiring with laughter okay see the meaning after that he agreed to give the medicine to the cat he opened the cat's mouth and poured down the painkiller the cat peter round and round the room beat the head in the furniture making a loud noise pushing down the flat parts and making general confusion in the room okay he danced and in the uncontrolled state of enjoyment okay at the time correctly and polly entered into the room she frightened on seeing the cat's behavior but tom lay on the floor and laughing and enjoying the cat's behavior okay yes see the next para tom what on your earth ails the cat i don't know and gasped the boy why i never see anything like it what did made make him act so did i don't know and polly cats always act so when they are having good time they do do they there was something in something in the tone of that made tom apprehensive yes i am that is i believe they do you do yes ma'am the old lady bend down and took the teaspoon and held it out 
Tom Winston dropped his eyes and Polly raised him by the usual handle his hair and cracked his head soundly with her thimble. Okay. Now sir, what did you want to treat that poor dumb beast so far? I done it out of pity for him because he had not any hand. Hadn't any hand? You numbskull, what has that got to do that with it? It's because if he had had one she had burned him our out herself she had a roasted bubble out of him without any more feeling than if he was a human. Okay. See the meaning. She asked him what did make him act so. But Tom replied that he did not know anything. She scolded him and asked again and again what happened to the cat Peter. Tom replied when the cat was in good time he did like that. The old lady bent down and took the teaspoon and held it out. She beat him in his head with her metal like tool. She was in full angry and told him don't do any harm to the animals. She found that Tom gave the painkiller to the cat. Okay. Yes. See the next para. And Polly felt a sudden painful regret. This was putting the thing in a new light. What was cruelty to a cat might be cruelty to a boy too. She began to soften. She felt sorry. Her eyes watered a little. And she put her hand on Tom's head and said gently. I was meaning for the best. Tom and Tom, he did do you good. Tom looked up in her face with just a recognizable twinkle peeping through his gravity. I know you was meaning for the best Andy and so was I with Peter. It done him good too. I never see him around so since oh go long with you Tom before you annoy me again and you try and see if you can't be a good boy for once and you need not take any more medicine. Okay. See the meaning. At last, his aunt Polly realized that what was a cruelty to the cat should be the same to the boy too. She began to soft. She felt sorry. Her eyes watered a little. Tom said that the cat had no aunt like her. So he gave it to the he gave it the medicine. She told him to stop irritating her and that he need not take any more medicines any more medicines okay all of you understood the story yes yes the story got over and today's assignment answer the book back two more cousins and one more cousins okay thank you